Okay, welcome everyone to our family orientation for the 2021-2022 school year. It has been um, a bumpy road, but we're looking forward to starting fresh this year and uh, we've revamped our uh, parent engagement program and we would love to share with you all. So before we get started, um, just clarifying with everyone here that the meeting is recorded. We're asking everyone to stay muted during the presentation um, so that more families can enjoy of this uh, once it's uploaded to our YouTube playlist. Um, but questions are welcome. You can add them to the chat or at the end of the presentation, we'll have a Q&A with everyone here. Um, just a friendly reminder, use your full name, and if you can add your school site's name at the end of your name, that will allow us to know what schools are represented. And here are our district goals. Um, we have four, which are highlighted on the screen in front of you. And parent engagement falls under goal number three, improve parent and student engagement. And our purpose is to make sure that families feel welcomed and invited and that not only their students are actively engaged in our schools, but also you as parents, since we are collaborators. And um, we're going to move on to our schools. We have eight schools in our district, six are elementary and two are middle schools. All of our schools follow our family engagement model, which is family university. Um, and you might be asking yourself, what is Family U or Family University, as some of us may call it? In, re in reality, it's our parent engagement model. It was created to empower parents in our community to get more involved in their child's education. And it's a recognition that is not only provided at a school site, but also across the district. And our purpose is so that we create connections with all of our families and um, we provide parents the opportunity to have their voice be heard and be ad advocates for their child's education. And some of the things that are included in our parent engagement model are workshops and classes. And these help not only um, our parents, but also other members of the family to grow and learn with their students. And our mission and for Family U is to create a respectful and inclusive environment uh, for all families to be treated as equal partners. We recognize that a, a student's success is not only that of, um, the result of a teacher's hard work, but also of a parent's. And, and it, like the saying goes, it takes a village. That being said, we also have a vision and our vision is to make sure that we create a safe, welcoming, but yet diverse environment that nurtures growth. Uh, we see that our district has many, many families uh, uh, in the community that can become leaders. And we hope to build community and partnership that stretches not only between our school and our families, but also to our district. Hello, everyone. I'm Clara Yi. I'm one of the community liaisons at William Green Elementary School. Um, I will be presenting the next few slides. And it's just like Jocelyn um, had mentioned, we as a school district do have um, different objectives that we would like to improve and then also um, facilitate to parents. So the first one is to improve students' outcomes. So there are three parts that we would like to um, emphasize. So the first one is uniting parents' committing, committees. Uh, the second one is parent leadership. And then the third one is home, school, and district. So, um, the first one is just basically um, inviting our parents to different committees um, to help them understand um, our what our district's goals are and what our district is all about, especially since we're so diverse. Uh, we do have PTA, which stands for uh, Parent Teacher Association. We also have um, APAC, so it's um, um, African American Parent Advisory Council, SSE School Site Council, um, ELAC which is um, English Learning Advisory Committee, which also goes on to the, um, a wider one, which is the district. Uh, the second one is uh, developing coherent parents for leadership throughout the district, just um, making sure that we um, teach our parents certain, um, certain skills so that they can either um, help their kids at school or help themselves as, as a parent as well. And then not only do we want them to um, better 
to help their kids, we also want them to help our district, right? So instead of just being um, student teacher, we want it to be parent teacher and then district, you know, um, working as a team. So we do have three tiers um, and it's broken up into three different parts. So the leadership tiers are designed for you as a parent to develop personal skills and then learn a little bit uh, more about the educational system and then to better um, help your, your student with their academic journey, especially if they're just starting with TK or maybe even kinder. Uh, we do have three parts and the first one is workshops and webinars. Um, basically, you just have to complete um, a YouTube playlist. Uh, we are on YouTube and we do have all of our workshops recorded and uploaded on our um, YouTube channel. And then also attendance and participation in workshops as of like one of these, um, these this is considered a virtual uh, workshop. The second one is committees and engagement is um, basically parent committee um, attendance, uh, you participating in these parent committees, um, participating in school events, and then also um, completing uh, leadership development programs that our district offers. The third one is leadership and mentorship. It says um, you can um, serve as an elective officer if you um, uh, wish to. Uh, you can ho host an educational foundation and or sometimes we do have special events that we do have booths and you can also be um, one of our members that volunteer and um, talk about family you to other parents. Um, and then the last one is parent to parent mentorship. Um, as I mentioned before, we are on YouTube. Uh, we try to figure out ways to help all of our parents, especially our busy parents and um, that have busy um, lives with being a wife or a mother, you know. So we do, we created a YouTube channel that um, you at any point and any time you can log in and um, listen or hear um, or even watch, you know, um, what we are mentioning. So um, there will be one for each trimester and the ones that are highlighted are the ones that we're really trying to emphasize. So for the first trimester, which will be um, this trimester that we're currently in, is learn the lingo. It is a three-part series. Uh, once you're done with that, uh, then the following uh, trimester, you'll have the math, English, and language development. And then the third and final trimester is what is LCAP. Um, there are other um, videos that you could watch, um, but these are the three main ones that we would like all of our parents to participate in order for it to qualify to the next year. Um, as I mentioned, all of our stuff, including this one, is online. Here's a little screenshot, screenshot of what it looks like. Um, it is LESD YouTube. Um, you will see our logo. Um, and it's just basically our channel uh, with resources that provide opportunities um, for all parents, not just a specific school, but all parents in our community um, that are part of LESD to um, uh, watch at their own time and we have different workshops um, regarding social and emotional uh, the well-being and of course um, anything related to your child's education uh, we also offer live workshops as of like one of these um unfortunately we can't meet in person um because you know we all know our circumstances but um, we do hope we will host um, a variety of different workshops that are live. And basically we will announce it to you either through email or class dojo, just like you found out this one. Um, the first live workshop would be um, a little bit more of the same one as the recorded one, which is learn and lingo. It is a three part series, but this one will be more of a, 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 a live one. So you'll be able to listen to a live person versus just watching. The second one will be the math and English language development. They're just like small lessons that um, one of our teachers or one of our TOSAs might um, um, host. Um, our third one is just going a little bit um, deep into what is LCAP. I have to move the little picture. <laughs> Um, school level workshops. So Family University um, offers many workshops and of course um, classes to help our families learn and grow. Um, not only are your kids being told to adapt to new, um, 
new technology or new ways of learning, but we will also like our parents to, to um, know a little bit too, just in case your child goes home and says, hey, mom, I need help with this, or hey, dad, I need help with that. At least you'll have a little bit of, of knowledge. So um, there are a few uh, different workshops that we offer, which is like the first one I already mentioned, the Learn the Lingo, just basically uh, talking, uh, it will basically cover like um, academic words or vocabulary words that normally our regular parents um, that do not work at a school system won't know. Um, and then academic is just basically going over some math tips. And then we also have English language development. Uh, we will also go over technology because last school year and this school year, we will, we will need technology um, in order for us to like communicate on uh, one being class dojo. That's one way of uh, communicating with your um, teacher and then also Zoom. Uh, we also have um, social workers and we also sometimes bring um, outside resources to go over mental and emotional health. Uh, we also have um, nutrition and cooking um, that we uh, will demonstrate throughout the school year. And then the last one is parent support classes, which is also known as PBIS. And now I will um, introduce you to our community liaison at uh, Billy Mitchell, Evelyn. Hi, thank you, Sarai. Um, so for tier two, we have committees and engagement. Each um, school site has a will host annual events such as cultural family nights, uh, jagathons, and reunification day. We also have leadership, a leadership development program, which would uh, require an eight-week commitment from you. And we have, each school site also has parent committees that you may attend. So school and district committees, um, each of these committees will benefit greatly from more parent engagement um, each school site has different um, committees, such as the School Site Council, which is also known as SSC, the English Learner Advisory Committee, which is also known as ELAC, um, Parent Teacher Association, which is DTA. And at the district level, we have the District English Learner Advisory Committee, also known as DLAC, the District Parent Advisory Committee, known as DPAC, our new committee, which is called the African American Parent Advisory Council. And we also have the Lonzo Education Foundation at the district level. In tier three, tier three is leadership and mentorship. So if you serve as an elected officer on a parent committee, such as um, school site council, um, or and host an educational foundation booth or a family youth booth at a school site community event. Um, so these are the LSD Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, each school has Facebook and Instagram. If you follow them already, that's great. If you don't, you can search up your school site and you um, can begin to follow them. Some of our programs are RAF, SSS, which is the Student Support Services. We have Nutrition and Library also on Instagram. These are our community liaisons. You can contact them by phone or email. Um, there's eight of us, six at the elementary and two middle school community liaisons. And thank you. If you have any questions, um, we're here, ready to answer anything or suggestions.